Hi, my name is Olesia, and now I am going to answer some of the questions you put us in the social medias of the university. So, first one, when does the academic year begin? So, the academic year starts on the 1st of October. The next one, when do admissions to study programs for foreigners begin. So remember that we have few application rounds and the first application round began on the 1st of March. The next one. Do students enrolled in programs for foreigners have to pay tuition fee? Well, generally international students, international candidates have to pay the application fee, but there are some exceptions. In case you have a specific title that you can prove by documents, you can study without any tuition fee payment. In which languages are study programs for foreign students taught? Generally, we have two study languages. It's English and Polish, but we also offer a study program in Ukrainian. This next one. What kind of documents are required for enrollment and when do they have to be submitted? Should they be submitted in person or online? Well, the list of required documents you can find on our welcome website in the document session. But all the detailed information regarding the document submission you will find in your personal account. So please, check all the information carefully. Do foreigners need to take entry exam? Well, Yes. Mostly international candidates have to take part in the interview, but there are some programs that require as well an entry exam. So you have to check this information specifically for your program in online application system. What kind of documents are required from persons from outside the European Union who wants to study at GU? Well, as I already mentioned, I recommend you to check this information, I mean the list of documents, on our welcome website. But generally you will have additionally maybe some legalization, maybe some apostle for your documents and translations as well. Health insurance is as well a very important position. So remember to check the information on the website. When do interviews with foreign candidates begin and what do the interview participants need to remember about? Well, interviews with international students begin in April. But of course, the date of the interview depends on the round you take part in. And depending on the program and the round, some interviews are held also in June and in September. All the specific informations are available on our website. Please remember to check your online application system. Which subjects are required from candidates for the program Ear Science in a Changing World? Hmm. It depends. In case you are non-Polish citizen, then you will have to take part in the interview. Interview is the basis for your final result calculation. But if you are a Polish citizen, you will have to pass an exam like Polish Matura or equivalent to it. You will need to pass such subjects as biology, chemistry, physics, computer science. But then you will have to take part in the interview as well, as well so we can check your comment in English. Okay, guys, let's go to the next one. Is a foreigner with a C1 level certificate in Polish required to pay a tuition fee or is he or she entitled to study for free? Hmm. In case you undertake a program in Polish and you are the owner of language certificate of C1 level issued by a special national language commission, then, of course, you have a right to study for free. And remember, it's only about for full-time studies. But generally, all programs in English are held on a fee payment basis. Well, the next one. Where a Polish language exam need to be passed in order for the certificate to be valid? 
You can find the details on our website, of course, but for example, there can be Polish Matura certificate, official Polish certificate, or a certificate obtained after passing the exam at the Center of Polish Language of Jagiellonian University. Well, this one is interesting and very popular, actually. Does Jagiellonian University have dormitories? Well, yes, and we have a few of them. To apply for a place in dormitory, you have, first of all, to enroll for studies. Then you will be granted with an access to the USOS web system, which is, which is a special student online uh, system. And then you can apply for a place in the dormitory in this system. The current price for living in dormitory, for a place in dormitory, is about 500 zloty per person per month. And we go to the next one. Can foreigner obtain a scholarship from Jagiellonian University? If so, what kind? Well, luckily, yes. Jagiellonian University offers a plenty of scholarships. We can divide them into special scholarship funds and as well financial aid. So the most popular of them, it is Rector Scholarship. You can obtain it for your special scientific or other achievements. Or in case you find yourself in a complicated financial situation, you can apply as well for some financial aid. Remember as well that some faculties have their own scholarship funds. So remember to check the information on the scholarship website and your faculty website. I passed a school living exam in Algeria. What are the procedures necessary for admission to the Jagiellonian University? Well, no matter what country are you from, the admission process is the same. But the difference can be in some of the documents that will be required from you. I really recommend you to check our website to find out what the documents you will need. And in case you will have some additional questions, you can always feel free to contact our admission team, our welcome center. Can I obtain a master's degree in bioinformatics if I completed a bachelor's and master's studies in Ukraine? If so, what do I need to achieve this? Well, remember that the final application result is calculated based on the interview. So you will have to take part in the interview, but your bachelor's degree can be helpful, of course, because we will need a document that confirms your level of education. As well, remember that bioinformatics is the program that is taught in Polish. So, interview will be held in Polish and the studies as well. Be ready for that. I have a question related to the study program in criminology. What are preparatory classes for the entry test? Is a school living exam certificate required? If so, could I be admitted if I have an Italian school living certificate and a bachelor's degree obtained from the Pedagogical University of Krakow? Well, Iglonia University actually does not offer a separate program in criminology, but it is offered as a course within some of our programs. Those are the pro programs like law, or psychology. So, in case you want to study criminology, you can apply for some of those programs. Remember, they are taught in Polish and you will be needed to go through an interview. Well, guys, that's it. Thank you for your attention. Remember that in case you have some additional questions or any help connected with the admission process, you can contact our Welcome Center. Thank you!